Hey guys, my name is Max and welcome to my movie channel. Excuse my voice, I'm actually getting sick. Um just deal uh bear with me on this on in, in the uh in the video. Anyways, today's gonna be my very first cinema rant. Um I don't wanna do many of these um because it's silly to get upset about things you can't control. Which is funny that I'm telling you that because incidentally that is exactly what I do on a day to day basis. You know, we all have our problems, but if someone cuts me off in traffic, um, it's, it's not good. I just get, I just get like super pissed because, you know, that's, uh, whatever, you know, everybody has things that sets them off, like, uh, people being disrespectful to them, you know, stuff like that. Uh, cutting off in traffic is, is another big one. People texting and driving, you know, you're playing with my life now. Anyways, so I'm, I, I, I try not to, you know what I mean? Rant. Um, on this channel, you know, I've been doing this for since June 2017, this first time. Anyways, let's get into it. This is going to be a rant about Lethal Weapon 5, which is called Lethal Finale. Um, it was supposed, it's in pre-production currently, although not for long. So, and uh, yeah, that's what we're here to talk about today. So, about three months ago, I was watching, oh, Jesus, a uh, promotional interview with Mel Gibson at, for Daddy's Home 2. You know, the one with uh, Will Ferrell, John Cena, Mark Wahlberg, John Lithgow. And he's in it as well. And, he, you know, there was a mention, a whisper of Lethal Weapon 5. And he's, you know, he actually said, you know, that they're working on it. So as soon as he said that, you know, my heart stopped. You know, I've been watching Lethal Weapon series since I was six years old. So that's 19 years. That's damn near two decades that I've been a fan of this particular franchise, okay, and, um, first of all, I'll say this, Mel Gibson is my favorite actor, um, and if he's not my favorite, he's in the top three, but Mo, I swear, I think he is my favorite, it's very hard to have a favorite actor, but, and director, I mean, he's, he just does it all, but anyways, anyways, so I looked it up online, three months ago this was, okay, and it says that, yeah, you know, Richard Donner's on board, Mel Gibson is on board, Lee, uh, Joe Pesci's almost on board, but he's basically on board. Danny Glover's on board, right? And that they already have an idea of the story. They just need to write a script. And that they're literally days away from getting the green light. <clears throat> so I was so happy. I can't even put it into words. It's pure um, nirvana for me to hear that kind of a news coming from... A franchise that I thought was over that has not had an, an installment for the past 16, 17 years that, you know, uh, for me to hear that they're having another one was uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Like in Lethal Weapon 4. <laughs> Anyways, man. Um, then, you know, fast forward to about uh, two days ago. I, I go online and I look it up. You know, I want to keep up. And I see that Richard Donner made another post. Saying that basically the lawyers involved with the deal are, I'm going to use a bad word here, bullshitting and really stonewalling the produ the pre-production and the green light of the film, which is called Lethal Finale. Again, he already has an idea of how it wants to go and he says it's going to be a very dark in tone film. So I reckon it's going to be like Lethal Weapon, the first one that came out in 87 uh, March of 1987, um, you know, still humor, but darker than, say, Lethal Weapon 2, or Lethal Weapon 4 or 3, uh, anyways, so I was very excited to hear, that, I mean, I was pissed when I heard that they're stonewalling, uh, but I was excited to hear, you know, that was gonna be, like, a darker one, kind of like the premiere entry into the series, and the re here's the thing that pisses me off. The reason that the lawyers are saying this is because, oh, we don't think there's going to be a demographic for Lethal Weapon 5. Who wants to see that? Let me tell you something. Let me freaking tell you something, okay? Does this piss me off? We, got we had a Die Hard 5, okay? A good day to die hard. I wish I died when I saw that goddamn movie. Excuse me, Lord. I'm serious, but that movie sucked. You know, we have Bruce Willis and the and the and the son. Oh my God, bro, that was like the worst movie I'd seen ever. <laughs> it was so bad. Um, and I, why can't we get a Lethal Weapon Five if we can get a a Die Hard Five? Okay, I mean that's just baloney. Okay, and um, anyways, then that got me thinking. 
Lethal Weapon 4, at the end of Lethal Weapon 4, spoiler alert, but that movie's 17 years old, so whatever. At the end of Lethal Weapon 4, it was a great ending. We have Riggs and Laura having their baby together, okay? We have uh, Roger getting his first grandchild from his daughter, and Detective Butters, who was played by Chris Rock. We have Joe Pesci. Um, nothing really happened to him, but... A huge moment between him and Riggs in the cemetery. Uh, you know, it, a beautiful scene, man. It kind of made me cry, actually, watching it um, a couple times. Because, you know, Leo's like, you know, telling him how much Riggs means to him. And how much Murtaugh means to him. And, and Riggs is just looking at him like, oh, man, you know, I, I, I treat you like shit. You know? I treat you like shit. Excuse me. <clears throat> and Leo's like, no, 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 no. But it's okay. You know, just a beautiful scene. So it was a great ending. And this is kind of like a Schrodinger's cat situation. Yeah, I learned that from Big Bang Theory. <laughs> uh, this is a Schrodinger's cat situation. So cat in the box, right? Could be dead, could be alive. The only way to find out is opening the box. Die Hard, I mean, excuse me, Lethal Weapon 5, Lethal Finale could suck or it could be good. The only way to find out is to make the movie. Now, here's the reason that the lawyers are saying... <clears throat> You know, are giving for not, um, whatever, giving it the green light or whatever the fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm trying not to curse. The reason they're saying is that they don't believe that there's going to be a demographic that is interested in the film. What? Are you serious, man? That is the stupidest thing ever. Because look at this. Lethal Weapon TV series currently on Fox, nearing the finale of the season two, by the way. I think they're green lit for season three production. Um, this averages about five and a half to seven million viewers a week. Okay. Again, Lethal Weapon, Clean Crawford here plays Martin Riggs. He was in that movie, A Perfect Host with, uh, David Hyde Pierce, I think his name is, the guy from Frasier. Great film. Damon Wayne's Damon Wayne's here. You know who he is. He's Martin. I mean, no, he's, uh, Roger Murtaugh, excuse me. Keisha Sharp is Trish Murtaugh. She's... Right down there. Okay. And uh, actually, I talked to this guy right here. Scorsese is his name in the film. I mean, in the TV series. series. I talked to him quite a bit on Instagram. And that's the cool thing is that all of these actors, I've written to them. And I think uh, the majority of them answered me. I know that Clayton Crawford liked the post that I put up. Keisha Sharp liked the post that I put up. And this guy, uh, Jonathan, uh, I forget his last name, but he, him and me actually have had several conversations, you know, on end. With, you know, but he, he's very active with his fan base, so that's cool. Anyways, I just want to tell you that. But the point is, if 5.5 to 7 million people are watching this per week, okay, I guarantee you that if you bring back the original series, there's going to be a huge demographic for it, okay? Not to mention internationally but just domestically here in the united states how many people were 18 years old in 1987 march of 1987 when the first lethal weapon came out and that was like the buddy cop inception uh you know that was the first movie that was just really great and how many movies have duplicated the same exact formula since lethal weapon one you know a lot of them okay but none of them stack up now, anyways, again, Schrodinger's cat could be good or it could be as bad as Die Hard 5. You know, honestly, I think that they would do good. Um, you know, uh, it's just, a, again, a matter of making the film. I don't think they're going to make the film. I believe that they should, but I do not believe that they will. And judging on the way that Richard Donner is talking, speaking, I don't believe that he thinks they're going to do it either. So it's very depressing. Makes me upset. You know, um and by the way, just screw the box office. Imagine the DVD sales, the Blu-ray sales, the 4K sales. Then you can sell things like the Blu-ray steel book. You can put out a brand new collection of the Blu-rays or of the DVDs, of the 4K. You can digitally remaster all five films and put them out. Okay, that's more friggin' money. I'd buy them, you know, even though I have, like, four copies of the movies. <laughs> uh, you could do Funko Pops. I'd buy those, too. 
So, I mean, it's just told. Whole... It, it breaks my heart. I hope that they make this movie. Guys, I've gone on for too long. My throat is like razor blades scratching gravel. It's really bad. So I'm going to just try to rest my voice. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want to see a Lethal Weapon 5 Lethal Finale. And if you do want to see it, let me know if you think that A, there will be a demographic for it, and B, if it will be a good, solid film, or if you think it won't be that good. Um, again, the only thing I can take solace in, and this is going to be the last thing I say, the only thing I can take solace in is that if we do not get a Lethal Weapon 5, thank God, Lethal Weapon 4 kind of has an ending um, that I could live with. But um, I, I want to see more. Okay. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. My name is Max. My first cinema rant. I'm very sorry about some of the profanities that I used. I um, don't feel good. And um, I'm very passionate about the Lethal Weapon film franchise. So, sorry. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, be on the lookout for some of my other videos. I'm going to try to try <laughs> with my voice to, to do a couple more uh, soon. Anyways, thanks again. Um, have a nice night. Uh, or it's nighttime right now. I'll see you next time. <laughs>